at this point, just, you know, I mean, you, you know what's coming, so we're just gonna wait for it. And then I'll do the intro. Do, 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 do. Okay, sorry. Um, such a good, it's, it's actually really good music. I love it. I'm loving, I'm loving this game. Uh, okay, gather three coordinates. I completely... Interesting. Okay. Uh, you start with a small colony, your objective is protected, let it expand. Um... It's no longer protected. I might go for... I might go for this one. Oh, oh, it survived for... Actually, that looks a little bit... Those are simply not get destroyed. Yeah, let's go with this one. Going for this one instead. But yeah, in the last video, uh, you guys got to see basically just how freaking overpowered the behemoths are. Um, behemoths are. So, that's why my first tower is uh, obviously going to be a behemoth. I'll we'll go for resources, because resources are actually going to be pretty good. What's it? Sh oh, is it shooting at this thing? It doesn't This thing doesn't have a health bar. Let's put a cannon down, just so we don't immediately die. Okay. Okay, maybe we need some more cannons. Because the behemoths are good, it's just that they take time to actually kind of build up. Why can I not... There we go. Okay, this is not a great start. I'm gonna be completely honest. Definitely not a very good start. But we're gonna hope for the best, I guess. So the only problem is projectile speed right now is really low. So if we can get projectile speed upgrades, that would be really good right now. Um, just kind of, you know, things like that. Uh, we'll go for more auto build, because auto build is also going to be pretty nice. Um... Put a behemoth there, just to kind of allow us to better defend the region. And to have a behemoth kind of defending other behemoths. Because yeah, that beginning was horrible. But now we have more projectile speed. The behemoth, what is that thing? Oh, that's one of the spheres, but it just looks different. Spheres. I think I'm pronoun that's I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, can someone hit that, please? Oh, that guy is not dead. And he's dead. Okay, the spheres are a little strong, it appears. We're going with slow on hit. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, those guys are very powerful on this level. Normally they are not this strong, but holy crap. Kills lower cooldown, bearer equals damage. Dra uh, drains 50% of the. Sh uh, okay. 
Every explosion of being double the damage and radius increases with your level. Ooh, yes. Increases with your level? So does it go up by like 1% with my level or something? Like each level I have, it goes up by 1%? That'd be awesome. Not sure if that's actually the case, but I hope it is. Go for more slow on hit. Why does it seem like some projectiles are faster than others? I'm really confused. Also, I really don't like how low health some of my towers are at right now. Gotta say, wish they were a little bit higher health. Okay. Now that projectile speed's a little bit higher than we should be not dead? Maybe? If I'm lucky? Just cover the base in in behemoths and hope for the best. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those spheres are a little dangerous. Okay, shield regen. That's That will be really nice. Okay, yeah, if I can slow them down, and then... Uh, and then destroy them with a bunch of behemoth shots, then I think that's going to be a pretty good way about of going about it. Well... Honestly, damage on kill would be really nice, but I think projectile speed is actually probably going to be better. We're going to go for barrier recharge as well. Okay, more projectile speed. Yeah, we just got behemoths everywhere. We just have to survive for five minutes, so we don't need anything too fancy we just need we just need defense we just need defenses we don't need to expand we don't need to do nothing nothing at all nothing at all we just need to sit here let them destroy the enemies we just need to survive for four more minutes four more minutes we can do it we got this Increase the damage a little bit. I think we do have... Do we have a damage on kill? Yeah, we do. We have one damage on kill. So it's not great, but... At least we got something. Better than nothing. Yeah, I wonder, yeah, I really do wonder why some projectile speeds are faster than others. Because, like, their attack speed is the same. Huh. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure. It is cool that it counts the kills, though, that there is a kill uh, kill counter. So you can kind of see which, which tower has the most kills. Might damage less attack speed. Um, we're gonna go for scan, so we can kind of explore the area a little bit more. I wish you. I I wish instead of clicking in it, it bringing up the new tile, I wish that's how you would like go off of that oh wait yeah because left all allows you to see the yeah that's right but yeah i wish a clicking would just make it so that you're not selecting anything rather than have it because you could just press a and just have it 
but I guess it also, I don't know. I wish there was just a button. Some sort of button that you can just press so that you're not selecting selected on anything. I don't know. I guess it is good though to kind of see where the where it's gonna go, but I don't know. It's just an idea that I had. Probably not a good idea, but it's an idea. Never claimed to be a genius. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. See, so, yeah, I mean, it's growing out pretty nicely. Um, yeah, it's so much stuff. Okay, slow on hit, we'll get that to a three. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I honestly think we'll probably be fine for the most part. I'm really not that worried. For the time being, that is. I think we should be fine. Go for more projectile speed. Projectile speed is just... Especially when it, with the behemoth, it's just one of the most... Like... Useful upgrades to have with the behemoth. Because otherwise, they just... Their shots go so slow. And they take so much time to actually hit their target. Go for more damage on kill. Why not? In this instance, I actually... It was actually, like, the best upgrade. Per, in, in my opinion. Uh, we'll go for more barrier, I guess. Go for more damage on kill. Just because they, they are going to start scaling a bit, so I think damage on kill would actually be probably good to have. Go for more projectile speed. Projectile speed probably not needed right now, but I figure why not go for it. Go for more auto build. And there we go. That's all we needed. Um, honestly, but I don't. I don't really like those upgrades, so I'm probably gonna try to re-roll. I'm not a huge fan of the upgrades that I got right there. So, two and a half more minutes. That's not. We well, we should be fine. Especially if I'm like putting more behemoths and stuff around, we should be fine. Go for more auto build. And we'll put like barriers around. Just to keep things alive for longer. While the behemoths destroy everything else. Just a minute and a half. That's all we have left. I don't think I've really seen the crit chance do much of anything. Let's see, it's up to 34. Oh yeah, so it increases uh, with your level. That makes sense, okay. So it's, so it's equal to my level. So if I was level 100, then obviously I would have 100, uh, 100 slowness. Uh, we're actually gonna go with that. That, because I haven't tried that yet, the slowness effect. So that would actually be good if you could, if you stacked up the cryogenic to uh, technology. Although 16 damage, 16.5 damage per second, that actually doesn't seem great. Now that I'm kind of thinking about it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh yeah, damage over time would actually be really good. But 16.5 damage compared to 3.1 thousand? Yeah, 16.5 doesn't seem that good. 
So the other thing definitely would have been better. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh, I'll go for more resources. I wonder if the slowness... Uh, take damage based on their slow stacks. So I guess if you hit it multiple times with slowness, then eventually it could get really good. Uh, should I re-roll? Yeah, let's re-roll. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. We can survive for that. I hope. <laughs> really hope. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. I mean, we have a 37% chance to crit at this point, so... We at least have that going for us. I'm assuming that's with each shot as well, so... Even though they're not shooting... See, maybe... Maybe crits would be, like, the time where machine guns could, like, actually come, come in handy. I don't know. I'm really trying to advocate for these machine gunners, and they're just... They're really letting me down. Every time I use it, it's just like, the behemoths just outperform it in every way possible. It, it really is disappointing using the machine gunners. Uh, we'll go for a uh, automatic barrier. So we're up to 40% now, right? Am I right? Yep, 40% chance of being doubled and having the blast radius be doubled, which I think is going to be pretty cool whenever we see it. Uh, barrier, increased barrier... Yeah, I'll go with that. Go for more attack speed. Go for more damage on kill, why not? Just have to survive for a minute and a half. We're not gonna die within that time. There's no possible... No possible way we die within a minute and a half. Okay, um... Can you guys, you know, I was just saying how we can't possibly die within a minute and a half. You guys are just kind of rolling in, destroying all of my stuff. Like, I don't really appreciate that very much. I gotta be honest with you. I'm gonna we'll go for more slow on hit. It's not really going to have much of an effect on, like, the smaller guys, but, like, the bigger guys, like, the spheres, the slow on hit, I think, is actually going to be really nice. That's the main time when I actually see, like, I actually think that it could be good. Oh, and those are, like, big spheres. Yeah, that's why they're doing so much, is because they're huge. I didn't realize how big those balls were. <laughs> uh, I'm so immature. No, no, I didn't realize how big they were until they were, you know, right in my face. I'm sorry. Go for more damage on kill. Yeah, I mean, things are definitely starting to get kind of far. So I guess I'll start putting down more behemoths, but... I mean, as long as our behemoths aren't getting destroyed, then we don't really have too much to worry about. basically just have to make sure that the behemoths survive and as long as they're surviving then there's then we don't really have anything to worry about especially in the next one second uh 18 do i go for do i go for another one do i go for another one i don't know what that would go up to 
I wish it would say how long it would go up to. We're going again. Four minutes, wow. This is gonna be the last one. Last one that we that we go for. I'm assuming if I fail, I just don't get anything, right? But it, it's like it's like a double or nothing type deal. That's what I'm guessing it is. Um, go for more damage on kills. Honestly, I highly doubt in the next three three minutes that we're actually going to even come close to losing. Um, but it's it still kind of has me a little worried. I'll be honest. I think we'll be fine as long as we don't get like a huge horde of big enemies showing up. We should be good. We'll go with the multi shot as well. I think that'll be pretty good. Because they can, like, charge up their shots and then fire multiple. I think that'll be pretty cool if I can ever see that happen. I think that should help a lot with the defenses, though. And then now there's a barrier right there as well. Okay, this side is kind of not really defended. <laughs> I mean, it's defended, but not very well. At least apparently compared to like this side over here, which usually does fine. And then like up here... I don't know, it just kind of feels like I need more behemoths in this area up here. It might just be that the stronger behemoths are on this side and then the weaker ones are on this side. The ones that don't have like as many kills are like over here. But then the ones that have like a ton of kills are all over here. That might be the case. I'm not sure. That might honestly be why it kind of just seems like this this side is stronger than this side. I also am curious if it's possible to get uh, the building cost down to like something extremely low. So like you just have you just like are spending basically no money on resources and then you could have um you know let's go for the pandoras and just use that thing but yeah i'm curious if it like you could have like buildings basically cost nothing and then just have like you know upgrades and abilities and stuff that provide resources so you can just you basically just can constantly be building towers I, I am so curious if that's like if that's possible at all. Go for more damage on kill though. I was just talking about the building cost thing and I didn't even go for the upgrade for it. I'm an idiot. Yeah, now they're starting to kind of break through, which it's definitely scary if I had to survive for another, like, 10 minutes or something. But there's 45 seconds left. I'm really not that worried. I'm not worried at all about losing. Within that time. Like I said, if it was... If I had to survive for longer, I would definitely be very, very worried. But... Yeah, we're, we're fine. We'll go for... A smite ability. Which I just realized got rid of my scan, or my, yeah, my scan ability, which kind of sucks. I wish you could choose which ability, like, if you choose another ability, I wish you could choose which slot, or, like, which ability it replaces. Guess that's just a suggestion for the, for the developer. Provide a way of... Uh, replacing ab abilities with other abilities if you choose an ability upgrade. Go for more damage, I guess. I don't know, there's not really anything that I want at this point. Whoa, okay, that guy's, that's a big guy. Okay. 
Yeah, that, yeah, I think we're gonna be done there. Um, my, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Roll of Hex. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Mean the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything, and yeah, my name is Sam, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.